Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Authentic Sound. My name is Wim Winters and today in this video I would like to give you a short update uh, around the building of the new pianoforte. As some of you will remember I've uh, uh, put on my Facebook page a few weeks or even months ago some pictures about the original instrument which you see here which is a Fritz pianoforte built in 1816 and as you can see in a very very poor condition but uh, anyway this is an, this is an important instrument since Fritz was an, was a was an was a very good builder uh, and there are actually not so many of these pianos preserved i i believe only 5 uh, of which uh, some of them are in very good condition and sounding really beautiful so the this instrument will be copied and uh, by Joris Potvliegen, who is also the builder of my uh, clavichord. And he was able to buy this instrument, which was uh, a condition for him to start his project. As you know, he is organ builder and clavichord builder. Uh, this has been a long time involved in the study of pianofortes uh, and in, in that respect always been interested in building an instrument, but uh, yeah, I was always also a little bit reluctant to do that because it is not an easy task and just having an instrument available in a museum, which is most often the case, was something that was not uh, uh, yeah, acceptable for him for as a point of, of, of departure for building, for this, pro for this building process, um, which I can understand. Um, and we come back to that later and I hope and it will not be as regular as the other vlogs uh, and, and episodes but I, I, we will definitely make a series of this uh, building process it's too interesting not to cover it um, so this instrument uh, was built a few uh, actually a year ago and the condition in which it is is of course very poor but what's so interesting uh, is and I, I cannot describe it better than Joris did he said f for him is this a kind of three-dimensional drawing you know you really have to uh, be very careful even replacing the instrument as it is because it's literally falling apart but here you see the uh, the bottom of the instrument and the 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 uh, the the under part is the bottom is is is, uh, is is preserved but is not attached to the instrument anymore uh, which makes that you can see the soundboard from beneath and also the construction where it lies on so uh, you can even measure uh, the thickness of the soundboard on, on different places something that would not be possible when this instrument would be in a museum um, and in a restored condition Restor restoration of this instrument is actually not an option since uh, it's it's too important as a document and it, it, the condition is is too poor it's, it's it's gone too far away so here's the keyboard uh, yeah and for the for the time being the, the keyboard has been uh, is uh, been, been uh, copied and uh, documented so it's ready and i have some pictures of it i will show you in a minute a small movie also obviously this is the old one as you can imagine, I hope. Um, and you see all these little envelopes, they contain small parts of, uh, of the piano. You see the hammers uh, with the leather. Um, so everything is there, but in a very poor condition. So what, what is the plan now to do? Um, it's simple. The instrument needs to be um, documented. So the keyboard, of course, is documented, and, and uh, computer drawings are made of that. For the rest, Judas and I had an agreement, and it's fun to do also to make this documentation together. I will make the computer drawings, which can sound a little bit uh, strange since I tend to be a musician. 
but uh, one of my main occupations daily and uh, maybe we, we will it might be interesting to cover this also in, in, in future uh, vlogs is that i work also as an organ consultant and that means here in flanders in belgium uh, actually the same thing as an architect would do with the restoration of a building so with an historical instrument organ I make an inventory of uh, all uh, parts that are still there from all times. I do archival research and I make I measure all organ pipes. I put them in historical context and I make drawings of the situation as the instrument is in and make proposals for the restoration. And then as an architect would do with the building of, uh, con of the construction of a building, I would follow up the, uh, the works. So I have not the experience of a builder and that's very important to realize as an architect that's not the um, the, uh, the the daily um, feeling with the materials but anyway in this part of the project we can I can I can very good collaborate with yours and for me I must say it is interesting because I really would like to know how this instrument is constructed and uh, to understand this instrument uh, for maintaining it in the future, it's it's interesting also to talk about what's a copy and what what should what are the um, the important things to consider while copying an instrument, since copying on its own is not interesting. It's in, in the, building an imitation is is uh, actually uh, leading to an instrument without soul. Uh, you cannot imitate, you can document, you can think about uh, what are the processes, what has led to this instrument, what what was actually the blueprint of the piano. And that's something that the builder, in this case Joris uh, Potfli, has to uh, discover. And that takes time, really. And I hope also, and I've actually asked him the question to uh, come here on the uh, Authentic Sound channel a little sometimes, doing some interviews with him and um, I, I'm rather in good uh, hope that he will accept uh, the invitation. Uh, maybe not to do it in English, although his, Eng his, his English is as much Euro-English as mine. So it's, uh, it's even, it is, it's, so this, we speak at this on at the same level. Uh, yeah. But if you want to do it in Dutch, I will subtitle, under title of subtitle, it's, it's no problem. Here you see the two keyboards next to each other obviously this is the new one this is the old one and i have um, made a small movie of it and for future videos like this i will try maybe i should buy an, an, a camera with image stabilization the fuji x pro one doesn't have it um, which leads to better photo quality quality but if you um, move your camera as a film camera you can use the, the, the image stabilization but that's not that's not so important um, so you get you get a view of the two keyboards next to each other it's really not so good movie but yeah that's an impression this picture I have the same made here in the picture so um, obviously the the, um, the keys are uh, not ready yet they are too sharp they have to be softened and the upper keys very interesting are very thin so uh, it's dangerous to play on it and you know what what I have with with the keyboard like this and <laughs> when the when the piano forte will be ready it's uh, it's of course obvious a new instrument but seeing this instrument born from the from and and made from parts even the, the old parts are made by hand and and it yeah it's something special but the keyboard is what yeah makes me all, always a little bit emotional because you know these are this is the connection between the instrument and myself as a musician or uh, who's playing on it you know, this B flat will be the B flat that is the first note of the hammer clavier sonata and so on. Obviously, this will be an instrument for me in the first place for the second part of literature of Beethoven, maybe also the first part. Uh, we will talk about that later also. Actually, you would need five or six instruments to cover the music of Beethoven and yeah. 
I am not a billionaire and most of us aren't, so uh, we have to make decisions and make some compromises in life. So that's the new, new keyboard and um, the coming months new things will, uh, will happen. We make drawings, I will show them to you and then we have to make, of yours have to make, has to make a decision uh, what he will do with the wood, the construction wood, since he would like to use all the wood of a certain quality, which is very, very hard to find. It's a matter of uh, weight also. The old instruments are weighing way, way, uh, much less, obviously, because they are so dry. And for transportation reasons only, it would be very nice and the instruments would be not too heavy. Um, if you are interested in this kind of videos, you uh, could uh, hit the subscribe button and then you will be notified any time you will open your YouTube uh, page. Um, and uh, thank you anyway for doing so and thank you also for watching and we will see each other next time very soon again. Bye.